Hey guys, welcome back to Green Reaper for another video for Ace Shadows. Today we're gonna go over some more secret rooms. Uh, I've covered this for the past two days. So today we're gonna cover the secret room. Uh, we're gonna cover uh, seven to nine. So we're gonna cover the three secret rooms. And then in the last episode for this series, we'll cover 10 to 12. So we're going to get into the runs and then I'm going to show you the gear. We've done our best to, as possible to make this as free to play friendly uh, and stuff like that. So we're not used my fastest champions or anything like that. I've cleared all these rooms before. And yeah, so this next run is going to be really long. It is the all rare room and we're going to get into that. And uh, so, yeah, uh, as you can see, it took quite a bit of turns. I'm going to fast forward, it, but quite a bit and um just try and cut out some time here so uh, it's full auto no presets and then i'll show you the gear after this run
So here we are. We have the DPS, which I'm not going to try and pronounce this name, but he is a killing machine that kills them really slow uh, with his one single nuke. Uh, we got our two pain keepers, which did do a little bit of damage, not too much. And then we had our CC champions. So let's go into the build and let's have a look. There's not much to it, you know. They're in stun sets. I don't know why they're in stun sets. They've been in stun sets since day one. Uh, I think I might have messed up when I was gearing up a little bit. So, uh, yeah, has got masteries and some of the gear is halfway there. So this build could be much decent for sure. But uh, it's good enough for the room and it's good enough for the full spirit room as well. Where I use both of these as well. Again, another stun set. Again, I don't know why they're in stun set. It kind of is what it is. This was not mastery, so that could definitely be better uh, if I wanted to, but I definitely will save the mastery as well I can. And then we got our DPS, which is in shield. Uh, so I, f I, could, I don't know why it's in shield, but um, I think the idea was to see if he keep growing a shield on everyone, uh, like he does in Inkillable, and it really didn't really work. So, yeah. Uh, and then we have a Manita Painkeeper, uh, sorry, a Inkillable Painkeeper for Bat Eater, and then another ink, uh, Inkillable as well, block damage comp for uh, Twin Tower. So, again, both of them just have other areas really, and I just kind of threw them in. So, I did try and make it work with four Painkeepers, couldn't get it to work. The other two Painkeepers were dying. So I just kind of stayed with this and it worked. So no questions asked really. Uh, very easy room to complete. Very gear intensive, not at all. Uh, so yeah, uh, I generally, it was a very easy room and didn't cause me any issues. So let's get into room two then. Enjoy the music and we'll be back shortly.
this is probably the only champion that I've used that's not really free to play at all um, but as you can see he is uh, in the team I do believe he was a guaranteed champion so a few people might have him and then Grim was actually a failed uh, fusion uh, no one really uses him or anything so yeah and then we've got three husk with who brings CC all of them bring CC because we've got AoE provoke uh, AoE stun on the A2 as well as doing damage and then the provoke on A1 all three of these are in relentless because they're all hydra builds different affinities so we've got nightmare we've got brutal and we have hearts so uh, let's go take a look at their gear it's nothing more to that uh, it's quite slow team but hey ho it works and it's full auto no presets so let's have a look at the gear quickly again I don't feel like it's really gear intensive I just made this guy fast as possible with the gear I've got uh, get a plenty of HP and that was it threw him in a lead and let him do his thing he's got some box but he's not fully booked and he's got no masteries so it's even better again no champion no masteries uh, he's also not booked so both my legendaries are uh, taking shortcuts and this is how powerful uh, the free free husk arm there's a lot of end game players who will be watching this who have free horse so if you are struggling uh, and you know Krakens will do this easy but the whales or the low spends might need to look at the free husk and think actually I can do that as well you know with hardly any effort my husk are kind of a bit special we have a triple refresh here we and all of them are in relentless uh, we've got good speed critical rate critical damage and good accuracy right because we use it for DK as well these are the masteries uh, and then yeah just accuracy critical damage HP perfect rolls attack with sorry, speed or critical rate HP critical damage and then speed critical rate and accuracy really and then this one is a bit more lower maintenance because obviously this is brutal uh, but again or right, accuracy uh, good critical damage slightly better than another one but he's a little bit slower and I think he's got a little bit less HP again built the same kind of way same kind of masteries really uh, he's got a little bit of oil but nothing too crazy on him um, yeah not really a hard build at all for sure and then we've got this one so again this one's got house washer I'm not too sure why he has house washer uh, I think this was like a test I was doing I don't really use him in hard draw hide at all so he's kind of a husk that just sits in the vault but you could use Deliana and then just use two husk I think you'd generally be fine it'd be a bit slower but uh, nothing to really worry about there so again there is room number eight and then we just gotta be looking at number nine so this one's quite fairly fast run it's quite an easy room but we're gonna go over it anyway and it is again fairly free to play team so the only legendaries we are using it is the ones you can earn so let's get into it and let's take a look
So here we are, free to play. Like like, like I said, we have uh, Mephala, we have Lydia, Ursula, uh, Renegade, and Sia. Right. So again, no presets. Uh, Renegade is the slowest in the comps. Obviously, that would be nice. So I want everyone to buff up. Sia to nuke, Renegade to reset on the next wave. Uh, again. Uh, we went through these builds yesterday with these two. Um, nothing special, really. Arena builds or arena build and a um, fire knight. No, not fire knight. Uh, dragon build. Sorry. Here we are. So I just couldn't get my words out then. Uh, so yeah, and then we got a revive. You can use any void revive if you want. I didn't really tend to need one, but you can use Seafy, Ragnar. Uh, we have a warlord available. Arbiter can also be used this rune. Uh, most people who do this room have Arbiter and Ian Cardio as well, and there's probably a couple of uh, Void uh, Revivers as well. I, I think there's Raklim in here somewhere. I think she's in my vault. I'm not built her out or anything, but uh, Blind Seer as well. Yeah, so uh, quite a few. Broadmoor, who is free, they would all work in here, so I will not worry about this room too much. It's, there's no presets, it's just gear as well, really. So this is my Lydia, again nothing special, uh, there's more of a broke down uh, build of her on my uh, other video from yesterday which I'll ping at the top of here somewhere and uh, there is a Masteries, nothing to it really um, and then we've got um, where is she, she's hiding she's in hiding there she is here's Mafala again not the best of builds this build really sucks for P versus P but for P versus E it works so for me it's a fairly good build for what I need it for and then we have our Ursula which I've left in the vault my apologies I did make sure I try and make this as fast as possible so she is in regen gear just generally because I use on Hydra so uh, I use her on hard sometimes when I'm making content on Hydra which we, I do quite regularly so uh, if you're struggling on Hydra there is a lot of videos on this and again uh, good HP good defense right so uh, you've got that and then we've got the renegade again in shield set it's mainly for Sia to be able to remove the buff, but I kind of made a mistake because Lydia is also in a bolster set, so it kind of breaks that purpose, but it was still good enough to nuke. And then this is our Sia. This is a really a top tier Sia, quite uh, nuky. Uh, if I'm honest, 305 critical good damage at 200 speed is not easy to do with leftover Savage, so. Yeah, I'm impressed with that one, and it's a really old build for Fire Knight uh, 25 when we used to do that. So there is the masteries as well, and just bear in mind she'll get another 20 critical damage when she hits a four star blessing, which one day I will finish. So there we are, guys. There is the secret rooms, uh, free tool, uh, free tool. Uh, sorry, uh, six, seven to nine on the secret room so um, nothing like crazy hard or any of the gear is intensive I feel like it's pretty easy to do really so follow the stats there is no presets so long as you follow the stats try and follow the sets as well uh, the masteries on some of the champions really didn't matter then you should really be good to go and not have any difficulty so the teams are quite fairly free to play uh, over the past three days when we be doing these videos and yeah um, hopefully we'll have the last one going live tomorrow uh, for you guys to keep an eye on the channel if you're interested in that there is quite a hard new the hard ones to do uh, again I'll do my best to make them free to play uh, or low spend uh, value uh, champions so there we are guys I really hope you like uh, this please remember to give me the thumbs up uh, hit that notification bell and um, a comment on the video as well. There we are. It's been a long day for me, so I'll see you later. Peace out.